Hey, marketing technology or MarTech is overwhelming and confusing sometimes. So I want to help you untangle it so you know how to deal with the MarTech stack and approach MarTech with a sense of clarity. So let me make one thing clear. It doesn't matter what types of marketing you do, you need to understand the tech and the back end regardless. It's modern marketing. You have to understand technology. Why? The more you understand how technology and platform work together, the better you will be at connecting different dots. The better you can connect different dots, the more you can think holistically. And the more you can think holistically, the better you are at communicating with your management at the strategic level. Being able to converse with management at that strategic level is so critical, so critical if you want to move up or get promoted. Understanding how technologies work has many benefits. Number one, scalability. If you decide to scale your marketing effort to different regions and geographies, you need technology's help, period. Number two, Automate processes to do more with less. That will make you more efficient. Technology sometimes can be a burden, but if you do it right, it, you can do more with less. Number three, enable data-driven decision-making by integrating all the customer data together, right? Three benefits. At the same time, here are three simple ways to entangle MarTech customer journey, website, and the CIM. So I'm going to go into each one of them. Number one, define customer journey by your marketing channel. It took me a long time to fully understand what customer journey really means. Yeah, on the surface, it means like a journey your customer takes to find you. Okay, that sounds good. But there are millions of options that the customer can come to you. And you don't know which options of a combination of a touch point that they did to get to you. Should you actually look at all those options and try to control them? Oh no, that would be crazy. The customer journey should be defined as how you want to guide your prospects based on your intended channels. Focus on what you can control. For example, you might run LinkedIn pay ads to promote your webinar, and that will lead to a registration site. And after the webinar, you will send out a thank you note based on the prospect's attendance or lack thereof. Then you follow up with several drip emails based on what you should do or they should do to pique their interest, right? And the call to action may be talking to sales or get to know your products better. On the drip email, the call to action is very important. Made it as clear as possible. Better yet, the call to action is contact sales. So if someone reply to your email, you know they want to talk to sales and you can route that as sales qualified lead to CIM. So now you think about it, the flow is LinkedIn pay ads, to registration page, to post webinar thank you email with call to action of contacting sales, to drip email, and then if they reply, you route the contact sales lead directly to CRM to notify your sales team. So that by itself, it's a MarTech stack. Is that helpful? So it's a guided customer journey. Your customer experience should focus on that and make that as seamless as possible. And also the content you offer along the way should be as personalized or useful as possible. Make it about them. Focus on the journey that you can control. Number two, connect your website to CIM or marketing automation. The website is no longer a standalone online presence. Email subscription, contact forms, webinar registration, whatnot, 
all need to flow into marketing automation tools or even contact information into CRM, depending on your lead and the prospect vetting processes. Think about it this way. Let's say you have a website. On the website, you will find the email subscriptions, contact forms, webinar registration. All of the customer and prospect information needs to flow into the marketing automation, especially the initial prospect information. And based on how the prospects engage on your website, some of that customer data may need to flow into CRM, especially after they are vetted. Build a MarTech stack to flow information from your website to marketing automation and CRM. It's also another way that you can look at your MarTech stack. Number three, know your CRM well. For a long time, CRM was primarily on the sales side. Now Salesforce has a marketing cloud, HubSpot has a sales CRM. Many marketing and sales platforms are trying to integrate sales and marketing together as much as they can. As a marketer, you need to know CRM well. Only by knowing CRM can you track the contribution of marketing down to the middle and the bottom of the purchase funnel. You need to personally know CRM. Not counting, I mean not counting on marketing ops and other functions to do that job for you. By knowing CIM, you'll know which accounts are viewing your content or which members of sales are using your content to reach out, especially if you are a content manager. If you are an email marketing manager with a call to action of a contact sales, you'll know who contact sales and what happened after. The more you know about your company's CIM, the better off you are. It's data. It's intelligence, right? That's assuming your sales are using CIM properly. If they don't use CIM, then that's a completely different issue that you need to tackle separately. So here are three ways to understand your company's MarTech stack. You kind of break them down a little bit, right? You break it down into a scope that you can manage. Customer journey, website, and CIM. If you feel overwhelmed by new technologies, just start with one of them first, all right? If you are a content manager, maybe you should understand the back end of the website to see who viewed the content and how these viewers act in CIM. If you are doing paid media, identify your paid media journey and see if the call to action leads to a landing page or the contact sale is something that you can track, again, down to the CRM level. Learning how to use new tools takes time. Trust me, it does. Oh my God, I'm trying to learn about AI tools. You know how much time? <laughs> I spent like trying to write and optimize my prompts. It's so much work, so much work. In the meantime, Trying to define the specific parts of MarTech that you want to understand. Tackle that first, then move on to something else after. Again, reach out if you have any questions. If you need some words of encouragement, my digital door. Here's my door. <laughs> it's always open. Take care. Bye.